Hey, MC here, and welcome to the first episode of many that you'll be seeing of What is in the Range Bag? Yep, that's right. Many of you will recognize this range bag as the Ron Wayne official used on air bag with bonus 2A EDU patch. And for good measure, we also have the CRS Freedom Star. CRS is definitely in our thoughts and prayers as the jury is deciding whether a little piece of metal is a machine gun or a infringement on our civil rights. Let's see how they come back. Anyway, on with the unbagging. What is in this bag? No, no sandwich or snacks. We do have a gun. This one is a power shot, semi-automatic, huge magazine. This thing, this magazine, uh, I don't think it holds all 1,250 um, rounds, but it does hold a considerable amount of rounds. Uh, well more than 30 rounds, as you can see, these staples. Um, there's probably... I don't know, 50 or 75 of them here. And to show you how this magazine works, we can, oops, we just popped that spring-loaded device out. Look at that. We just unloaded this magazine. So, yes, this item is unloaded. Just to make sure we're being safe. We got a few range tools in here, some cleaning rods, and accessories over on this side. What have we got in here? We have got some hearing protection and also safety glasses. All right, now we can proceed. But wait, we have a backup pair of safety glasses because sometimes we might have visitors or company on the range, and what's more fun than shooting by yourself? Shooting with others. Uh, no snacks, no soda, no sandwich, no beer. Apparently there's expiration dates on all those bonuses. And in the main compartment, we have camera gear, tripod, camera stand, more hearing protection, some ammunition of the 9mm variety, magazine, another magazine, a paddle holster with retention so the tool does not shake out unless you want it to come out. And no, apparently my thumb is too short. Oh, there it goes. I can do that left-handed. So this one, another magazine, drop free. And this one is a Glock 43. And nope, I cannot manipulate the slide holding the camera with my off hand. So let me transition over to the phone holder, and we will be back. All right, now we have free hands, jazz hands. So, set our gear up. We have one last little pouch. Open that up, and we have another gun. This one is the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. 13 plus rounds as compared to the Glock 43. These things are darn near identical. Width, height, the spring or the Smith is just slightly longer. But overall feel, the angle of the grip is slightly different. The grip texture is a lot more aggressive, easier to hang on to with the Shield Plus magazines. You can see the 
shield has a little extra capacity because it's slightly chunkier. And there are some aftermarket ETS magazines available, of course, for the 43 or the 43X. And these will take um, and increase your capacity. Whether you would trust this for a carry item, I mean, maybe you could carry it in a backup rig or in an extra pouch. Um, but personally, if I'm carrying for personal defense, I am using OEM factory magazines. I'll have these for a third magazine. If I have a backup, this will be the backup to the backup. So we'll get geared up. And again, best wishes, Matt. Um, get through all of this mess and get back out making some videos. I'm sure you will have a ton of content that you will stick out there. Emphasis on the stick. It to them, I mean. So we'll set our bag off to the side. We'll load up some rounds. Set the camera up so you can see a little shooting at 25 yards. We'll focus the camera mostly on the muzzle of the firearm so you can see the differences between the uh, shield plus any muzzle rise, flip, roll, or whatever, and the Glock. Glock um, is brand new. I have not run any rounds through this. It's been disassembled, inspected, dry fired many times, but straight up factory firearm. Likewise, this one has been shot two or three hundred rounds, straight up factory, zero modifications to it. Just taken down, cleaned, oiled, reassembled. Oh, almost forgot. I've got to load my high capacity magazine. So you want to make sure you keep it pointed in a safe direction. Take your projectiles, slide them in your spring loaded retention device. Make sure that's inserted and properly locked into position. And remember, they come out this end, so keep that away from your face. MC Humor. All right, I have five rounds loaded in the Shield Plus, five rounds loaded in the Glock 43. I have, for reference, just a sheet of paper out at 25 yards. Here, we'll maybe set the camera up uh, that way. See how that works. Is that getting the frame? Pretty close. i uh, just going to run five rounds. Um, just a quick little review. That way I don't have anything more than 10 rounds of ammo try to, or uh, spent rounds to try to load. So we'll do the Shield Plus first. Five rounds. Oh! Stands a little on the low side, so we'll see what happens. Five rounds. Now for the Glock 43. Recoil felt about the same. As far as on target, no idea. We'll go check those. But carry-wise, I'll carry both of these. If I end up in states that have uh, restrictions on magazine capacity, that gives me the options with that Glock 43. If I'm in non-communist states uh, and we can carry more than 10, then we've got the Smith & Wesson. Thanks for watching, and prayers out to CRS.